I am now going to do what exactly? I'm going to, I need to reduce some of the cards that are in my deck is what I need to do as I go to pick up another card. Uh, Raven Egg, Black Goat, I'm taking the Black Goat. Thank you, didn't even need to think about that one. I'm gonna get rid of a card. Who do I want to sacrifice? I'm leaning towards the Bullfrog at the moment. I'm going with the Bullfrog. Rest in peace. Okay, so if the birds are attacked, then I am in danger. We got a mole and a turkey vulture. Ooh, that turkey vulture is gonna hurt. And it's flying, so I can't make it attack anything of mine. It's just going to keep doing three damage to me every turn. Meanwhile, the mole's gonna make it impossible for me to do anything else. The cat is trying to open the pantry. He needs help. Okay. Uh, I'll summon my skink. That'll be it. chimes, but I can at least take out the turkey vulture relatively quickly. Oh, did I just lose? Fuck. That's unfortunate. I also hoped for more, but I disappointed everybody, including myself. Trial of Wisdom, Trial of Kin, Trial of Power. Um, hmm. Wisdom. Cool. The elf, uh, or the porcupine. I think I'm gonna go with the porcupine. He's trying so desperately to open the pantry right now, but we have weights in front of it, so fuck off, cat. All right, can we get something better for my squirrels? That should be amazing, right? Because every time, that means every time I, that means I can summon an ant every turn. Because I can draw a squirrel, sacrifice the squirrel, to uh, get an ant and then sacrifice that squirrel to get an ant. I will be able to summon an ant every turn. It's the same fight over again. The game's just punishing me now. Alright. If I summon a squirrel, I get an ant. Now, which one do I want? Okay, the turkey vulture is still gonna hurt me, but I guess that's fine. All right, what do we got? A sparrow and a raven egg that's never gonna get summoned. Okay, the turkey vulture will stay alive for one more turn. I need to do some damage. <laughs> 
I can survive taking three more damage, but the sparrow is going to do the fourth damage and kill me. So I have to do the eye thing again. Yes, this is actually quite a nice draw, thank you. What'd you give me? Is that a squirrel? I'll take that squirrel, thank you. sacrifice them. That's my problem right now. What is that? Is that a skunk? Okay, that's fine. to replace the eye. Do I want to take the magic one? I think I'm going to try taking this weird bifurcated one and see if that changes my vision at all. Nope. Perfectly clear. The cat is hanging off of the doorknob right now, trying to get inside. My other cat's just staring at him disapprovingly. Power, health, wisdom. I have not failed the trial of wisdom yet, so let's go. the corpse maggots. I think that one's a good choice. I am going to sacrifice a card. Whose sigils do I want to get to? Who do I want to take? I think the Kingfisher's sigils are... I took him for the purpose of taking his sigils and putting it on a card. So it'll make a card that can attack directly and can't be killed. Why does the black goat look cute? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I think... If I put it on Dan, that's just break breaking it. So you know what? We're going to go put it on the Mantis. The Mantis will do a pretty insane amount of damage. Oh my god, cat, stop trying to go after the pantry. It's off limits. What are you summoning? Oh, great. It's this fight again. I'm going to go with that. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to win the fight now. <laughs> because that is what happens when you draw Dan. Uh, right. So I'm going to summon... I guess I'll just put a B here. Why not? What does this one do again? Oh, but I don't have any pelts for you. You have none. Do you understand how disappointing that is? I must give you this. Use that to buy some pelts. Do not return empty handed again. All right, combine. I had two cards I wanted to combine. I think it was the douse. The douse or the corpse maggots. I think the douse 
is better to combine because the corpse maggots are useful to have too because then I can have if I have either of them in my hand I can summon more the douse on the other hand I'm not really sure what the chimes do but now its stats are also pretty good in its own right he shouldn't have come here he says I unfortunately did not top deck Dan, but I don't need to top deck Dan. All right, Dan, do your worst. And then that will be it for me. I think. I only got one pelt, which is unfortunate. But Dan should be able to kill most things in like three of the rows. I've got two pelts, so I can get rid of two of the cards. Choose wisely. Okay. Uh, the Rattler... Okay, what do I want to do here? Uh, the Grizzly will attack Dan, and I can't have that. Uh, so I think I'm going to get rid of the Grizzly. And then secondarily, we've got the River Snapper, which is really just a wall. There's like he's blocking the Moosebuck from getting in. I think I want to leave the River Snapper and the Moosebuck the way they are on the right side. So then Dan's going to make an attack against this Elk and against the Turkey Vulture. Uh, the Adder wouldn't be bad, but it's hard to summon. But all of these are hard to summon. There isn't a single one here that's not hard to summon. I think I'm going to take... Which one is going to be the most useful to me? He got the pantry open. He got the fucking pantry open. Adder's also not doing much damage, so I'm fine leaving the Adder there. It, I'm thinking I'm either going to take the Vulture or the Elk. The Elk is going to damage me directly, which is a pain, and he's got a lot of health. But the turkey, then I get rid of the Elk and all I get is the Turkey Vulture even sooner. I'm going to get rid of the Turkey Vulture. Strange choices, he says. All right, um... I have nothing to summon. I should have grabbed a squirrel. Will I survive this turn? Uh, Dan will kill all of them, and I'm going to get attacked by the River Snapper and the Great White for a total of five damage. I can survive five damage. So that should be fine. Oh no, I'm going to take... Yeah, the River Snapper's going to do one. And the Great White's going to do four for five damage. I think that's fine. Oh, never mind. I killed the Great White. Never mind. This fight is trivial. Squirrel goes down. Eh, we'll put the Skink down. Why not? Skink right there. And it's over. It's so nutty. It's so, like, it feels gross. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Uh... I'll take.
take the douse, see if I can make a triple douse. I still have, I don't think I have yet to summon a single, single douse is the thing. <laughs> Uh, items. I don't have any items. I'm gonna take items. I'm gonna take the extra squirrel. And the extra squirrel. <laughs> Thanks! Alright, we've made it back. I wonder if I'm gonna get a boon this time. I get the feeling my chances are low. Because <laughs> I didn't really have much of a chance of the first time. Alright, what do you got for me? Are they going to be the same trials? Or the same... Yeah. Trail, trial of the Find. I don't have any pelts. Trial of Rarity. I'll try for the Rarity one. Nope. Yeah, Douse is rare, isn't he? I've passed. I got a powerful boon. Moon of the Forest, you'll start a battle with Grand Furs on all of your spaces. Trial of the Moon, you may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. I want to draw twice. Alright, I don't have a ring. I don't know what that means. Is that that ringworm? Trial of the Winged. Trial of the Swift. I don't think I have either of those. Uh, I, don't... I think I have an elk. <gasps> How friggin' lucky am I? Oh, I would have won either way, because the Mantis is also uh, a he has flight. Another boon. Grand Furs. Boon of the Magpie. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card. <laughs> boon of the Goat's Blood. Uh, I'm going to go with the Magpie. Thank you. Cat, stop. He needs help. I managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I'm impressed. You've been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Bring it. If I don't win this time, I'm just going to be disappointed with myself. Because well, apparently I can draw twice and just pick what I draw. Like, isn't that just overpowered as hell? How I relish this moment. He's hanging from the doorknob. The problem is if I immediately summon Dan, the prospector is a problem and a serious threat. But if I summon the mantis, We're gonna put my smoke here. I'm gonna put a squirrel down. And I'm gonna summon my mantis right here. And that will be the end of my turn. card do I want? I gotta get Dan. Alright, uh, so he's going to turn my Mantis into uh, Mincemeat in a second here, but I think I'll win the round after he does so, so I think I'm just gonna end my turn here. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Because my Mantis is gonna put him down. I don't know if he's gonna still prospect me. Moon-soaked forest bed gave rise to shadowy figures, gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Ah, uh, yes. I remember that one. He's still, like, he's still gearing up to... to smack me. Which card do I want next? Let's get you. I'm gonna hook you. Thanks. Thanks for that. It's gonna be it. Well, 
This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes, but it provides no value to my board. I wonder. You just kill the moon. Ah, uh, now that is value. It's great value. Okay, what do these sigils mean? Mighty leap. Okay, fine. Moon strike. Card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. What does that even mean? Okay. I, what do I want? I don't know what I want. I have no idea what I want. Uh, we'll get the douse, I guess. And a squirrel. All right, we're gonna summon Dan. And uh, hope for the very best, I guess. We'll summon the stink bug too, cause now he does no damage, right? Not sure what's gonna happen on his turn. I almost killed him in one turn. What is this? Weakening my moon with the stinky sigil. It makes no sense! Moons do not have a sense of smell! This is not how I imagined this battle going. <laughs> it's how I imagined it going, and it worked out great. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I'll take the corpse maggots, I guess, and a squirrel. Uh, and that'll be it. Here you go. You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. 